好，第二、第三條呢，就睇返下面呢個 set up 啦。我哋係為咗呢去測試下一個透析管嘅滲透程度嘅。咁啊喺個透析管入面啦，就係十 cm 嘅 solution P 啦，而透析管出面呢，就係二百 cm cube 嘅 solution Q。咁我哋依照幅圖啦，搞掂晒成個裝置之後啦，而題目呢，都俾咗一個重要嘅提示我哋，就係、是、原來當 P 同 Q 呢兩個溶液撈埋嘅話呢，就會變成藍色㗎啦。咁今次個題目係睇個透析管嘅滲透程度啊嘛。咁我哋即管就睇下 P 同 Q 呢。佢哋一個就喺透析管入面，一個喺透析管出面，佢哋撈唔撈得埋咯喎。咁啊，做完個實驗之後咧，我哋有兩個嘅發現嘅。第一個發現咧，就喺呢個微細管入面咧，嗰、那個 liquid level 咧係上升咗嘅。第二個發現咧，就只有透析管入面嘅液體咧，就變成咗藍色啫。根據翻個結果啦，我哋有啲咩嘅啟示呢？第一個啦，就係喺嗰個微管入面嘅 liquid level 係上升咗嘅，就代表住有滲透嘅發生。個滲透嘅方向呢，就係由 solution Q 咧去到 solution P 嘅。第二個發現啊，就係話只有透析管入面嘅液體變成藍色。咁即係代表住 P 同 Q 呢，佢哋真係撈埋咗，但係呢個撈埋嘅位置呢，就淨係喺呢個透析管入面，呢就代表住呢，喺個溶液個溶質嘅流向呢，應該就係由 solution Q 呢，就擴散到入去個透析管入面嗰處，就同個 solution P 就去結合咗。咁所以啦，有呢兩個結論之後呢，我哋就可以做一擊破咯喎。第一個就話啦，溶液 P 嘅溶質呢，就能夠穿透到個透析管。嗱，呢一句呢係錯嘅，因為到頭來我哋淨係發現到一個透析管入面先係藍色啫。如果呢句係正確嘅話呢，即係 solution P 入面嘅溶質呢都出埋去，咁應該係連出面呢都變埋藍色先真嘅。所以一呢就已經係錯咗啦。第二呢就反返轉啦，就係、是、溶液 Q 嘅溶質呢，就能夠穿過到透析管。呢一句呢就正確啦，就係、是、由溶液 Q 入面嘅溶質呢，佢哋入得到去個透析管，就同個溶液。P 咧就撈埋一齊，然後顯身到一個藍色出現。而第三個就話啦，有一個正向水嘅流動就進入咗去個透析管入面。呢句當然亦都正確啦，因為我哋已經講過啦，佢係有一個滲透嘅出現。而當啲水入咗去嘅時候啦，就會導致到呢個 liquid level 咧就會上升。所以答案咧就係二三 only 啦。Question two and three refer to the diagram below, which show a setup for investigating the permeability of the dialysis tubing. So there are two types of solution: 10 cm cube solution P, 200 cm cube of solution Q, which is solution P is inside the dialysis tubing, and the solution Q is outside the dialysis tubing. And there is one more piece of information: when solutions P and Q are mixed, a blue Color will be observed. So let's take a look at the question. At the end of the investigation, there are two observations. First observation: the liquid level inside the capillary tube has risen. And the second observation: only the solution inside the dialysis tubing became blue. So which of the following conclusion can be drawn from the result? So let's think about the critical concept based on the observation. First of all, liquid level inside the capillary tube has risen. It means that osmosis takes place. Movement of water should be from the solution Q to the solution P. And for the second observation, only the solution inside the dialysis tubing became blue. It means that there was a mixing of the solutions P and Q in the dialysis tubing, but not outside. It means that there should be a movement of the solute particles of solution Q into the dialysis tubing by diffusion. Let's take a look at the answer. Option one: Solute of solution P can pass through the dialysis tubing. Option one is wrong because there is no blue color outside the capillary tube. What if the solute of solution P they could really pass through the dialysis tubing? There would be blue color outside the dialysis tubing, but there is no such observation, so that's why option one is wrong. And for the option two. The solute of solution Q can pass through the dialysis tubing, which is correct because the solute in the solution Q they can go into the dialysis tubing by diffusion. So there is a mixing of solutions P and Q inside the dialysis tubing. Option two is correct. And for option three, there is a net movement of water into the dialysis tubing. As I mentioned in the first observation, there should be a net movement of water molecules, which is an osmosis. So the direction of the net movement of water it should be from the solution Q to the solution P. So that's why option three is also correct, and the answer will be C.